Hey, sorry, I was doing the live and my connection, I guess, is a little down. Um, so I can't even think of what to say. I am baffled about how some doctors treat people with PTSD and DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder, and then try to treat me and say that I'm hypochondriac when they misdiagnosed me, put me on antibiotics, made me do all, I don't know, I'm supposed to have surgery and everything, and I thought I trusted my doctors over there. You have to trust who's taking care of you. I mean, they left me to take protonics for my GI issues, and and that's it. They, I mean, I see it, I get an endoscopy done coming up, but when you're vomiting blood and they try to blame it on your past of st stuff and not be physical, um, I, I don't understand. It's, they made it all so serious and everything, freaked me out, do all these tests on me, and which I've done all of these before. Except now my veins are so bad that I didn't know they were that bad that they have to do ultrasounds on my arms to find. So that's why I'm so bruised up. I'm cold because of just I've been so sick. I have no appetite. I know that anxiety, stress can make it even worse. But um, I have to have major surgery soon. And they had so many psych doctors come see me. And I just don't even... I'm just tired of the stigma. I'm just so tired of it. And because they didn't know about DID, they are so afraid of of it. Hey, sorry if you just, I hope I'm not, I don't even know. I can't even talk about the abuse of why I was there right now. I just put a trigger warning. I really thought I was going to say more, but I'm so upset with how I was treated. I mean, yes, they were all nice and everything talked to me, but I felt like it was all fake. Because then to be called a hypochondriac after they misdiagnosed me first. Um, this is not the first time they've diagnosed me with, me with the UTI and put me on antibiotics and not needed it. And it makes you sick, really sick. And then, you had to, then I had to be in the hospital with IV fluids. And then at the one point I had two IV ports because they did a blood patch and then they then I was confined to my bed because of the the massages for your legs, the machines. I, that, I can't, can't even think right now. I'm so upset. Otherwise, I get the heparin shots. And I already bruised so bad. And then they say I don't have allergies when I break out to... I don't know if it's hard to, to see. No, you can't see it on there. Sorry. It's from the tape. I'm allergic to adhesives. Like, they don't believe me. I'm like, I don't like when people don't believe me about my allergies. I have so many allergies, adverse reactions. Everybody's body's different. It's just like trauma. Everybody deals with trauma differently. And I'm tired of my CPTSD and DID be used against me. I know that you have to get that under control before having procedures done too. You have to have your ducks in a row, but there comes to a point where you don't need to be a guinea pig and you need to trust your providers. You need to trust who you're around, especially when you've been abused or have uh, abandonment issues. It's, it's hard when your doctors or hospitals that you go to do not believe in you or treat you like you're a basket case or something because of the stuff that happened to you. You cannot treat people that way. I don't know why people think that it's okay. Um, especially the medical field. It just breaks my heart. Like if they were in our shoes, I mean, I, I don't say mine is worse than anybody else's. Everybody deals with trauma differently. Everybody deals with grief differently. Everybody, you know, I don't want to be a victim anymore. I don't want to be a victim anymore. I am trying, but it's so hard when you have flashbacks every day. You have so many triggers that 
it's hard to function most days. And yes, it's hard to eat. It's hard to sleep. Everything. I mean, no medication in the world is going to cure that. You have to use your other coping skills. I have used every single one. But to be treated like a guinea pig at the hospital was not cool. Um, I don't know. I'm just... I, I can't even speak right now. I wanted to say more about what's really going on. Maybe I'll write it. Um, but I haven't been active in the group in a while. And I hope everybody is is doing well. This time of year is really, 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 really hard for me. Um, I'm just glad I was able to use my grounding techniques to stay present while I was at the hospital in ICU. Well, not ICU. I mean the word, not the psych word, like they tried with so many doctors coming in. I did report about the abuse that's going on with my spouse and I couldn't like go fully with it because they now finally were saying, oh, the abuse might be, you know, my symptoms and stuff might be from before but I couldn't trust them to fully go through with it when I've tried to report my husband before and he's gotten away with it. So I am going to just try. I already told him I set boundaries. I said to him, no more contact with me anymore. I said, you'll regret it because don't no, I'm not going to let him hurt me anymore. I can't do it. Um, no, no one should be abused. No one should be a victim. I've been, I'm, I don't want to be a victim anymore. I want to be, say, I'm a survivor that I, I, I'm, I used to be so dependent. I'm tired of having to be dependent on other people and then be threatened that I can't live on my own, that I can't take care of myself. Well, I've been doing fine with the routine, so I just... I just hope everyone is doing well and I'm I'm just a mess right now, sorry. I'm so tired too. But thanks for watching. I know I probably sounded all weird all over the place. But I really didn't even talk about really what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> That's PTSD for you. <laughs> but thanks for watching and I hope that everyone has a good day. Maybe I'll try again later. Um, but take care, y'all. And don't let other people walk all over you. It's, I'm tired of being treated like a guinea pig or treated like a hypochondriac when the stuff is real. It is real. Thank you.